I carried her for nine months and we just waited for the day that we would get to hold our baby. My hope is to have our happy baby back. She was gaining head control and she started to smile at us and giggle and she started saying mom all the time and she started playing with toys. We had her eating baby food. Things were going really well. She was seven months. Yeah, around seven, eight months. Yeah. It all just went downhill. She started having full convulsion seizures. She stopped smiling. She stopped so talking. She went back to like being a two month old. Just by looking at her, it was almost impossible to figure out what exact disease she had. We got a lot of, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know how to help her. I don't know what to expect. We did not enjoy getting, I don't know. <laughs> and this is where genomics is very powerful. So now we can go in, do the sequencing, and find a specific cause for this. The exact diagnosis, it goes by a couple of names. It can be familial febrile seizures or epilepsy with febrile seizures type 3. Now when people ask us, why is she not walking and why is she not talking, we're able to say she has a genetic mutation that causes her to be a little delayed. This is very interesting for Charlie because uh, we know there are specific medications we can use for epilepsy and we can target therapy for her, maybe to make it better, reduce her seizures than just picking a medication off the shelf, I guessing. Yeah. She was having 15 to 20 a day, so to have one in three weeks, that is phenomenal. Now they're not trying to stop the seizures or find a cause for it, we're just trying to control them now, which is a lot easier on her because she's not on a whole bunch of different medicines now, we're only on a couple. The whole idea is that if we can control those seizures, she can now start doing things. She can have a better quality of life. We're getting our baby back. She is talking to us. Well in a baby form. She's babbling at us. She's trying so hard to smile at us again. If it definitely wasn't for the genetic testing, she would still be seizing, most definitely. We 100% believe that. We can hopefully help improve things, but just knowing what she's got, knowing what they're up against, as opposed to wondering, is there something else? Are we missing something? That's a huge sense of relief. We love this hospital. They have changed her life and changed our lives.